Hello and welcome to episode 4 of How to Contract in Kerbal Space Program version 0.24. My name is Jim and today we are going to start thinking about going to the moon. We need science and this is the best way to get the next big batch of science, going to the moon. Uh, we might... Well, we, we have plenty of money now. We have 400,000. Uh, we can get more by res rescuing Duncey. And before we get into that, though, I want to do a quick montage of completing the three contracts that we left uh, ourselves with at the end of the last episode. So we have the test the poodle, test the decoupler, and test the solid fuel booster. So we have ships already designed for that. Um, yeah, so orbit test number two was the most lucrative of that, which is testing the poodle engine. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out to launch pad, but this is all going to be sped up footage until we get into orbit and do the actual test. But let's go ahead and grab Ed Bart. Give these new guys some experience in space. SAS on, throttle full for after the event. Three, two, one, lift off. And I will see you guys in orbit. Alright, as you guys can see, that flight did not go as expected. I come back into the VAB and what do I notice? I notice there's only one Separatron. And I think that's why these boosters did not get away from the ship in time and they crashed and burned and everything went very, very bad. Um, I'm also going to boost this a little bit to 50%. 50.5. It's hard to get right on 50 for some reason. 51. But I need to put this on symmetry mode. Reconnect these separatrons. Make sure they're in the correct stage. All the other staging is as it should be. Yes. And let's get Edbert, Edbart back into the ship and let's try take two. Alright, SAS on, throttle the full for the second engine. Edbart's ready, that's ready. Uh, I'll see you guys in orbit, but before we get there I want to just say I do not mind showing my mistakes like this, even though this is a tutorial and I should know what I'm doing. We all make these kinds of mistakes. Um, there's so many little details about building a rocket that we all forget. And changing symmetry on and off is one of them. Uh, forgetting parts like solar panels is one that almost everybody does at one point or another. Do not fret about that. Just revert your launch, go in, find out what, what's wrong, fix it, come back out, give it another try. That's all. That's what Kerbal Space Program is all about. Giving it another try. All right, three, two, one, lift off. Yeah, that's a little peppier. All right, I will see you guys in orbit.
Okay, first of all, I botched the recording of this next short segment, so I'm redoing the commentary, which is kind of a good thing because the music was too loud anyway. Anyway, what I'm talking about here is that uh, my altitude is enough to uh, meet the um, conditions of this contract. Uh, so I just have to go around to the right altitude. Some of you may have also noticed that I had to transfer fuel from the uh, test engine fuel tank to the main engine fuel tank to get this orbit. So I was just a little short of what I really needed uh, to get this in the orbit with the normal engines. But we have enough fuel to uh, get back, so we're going to go ahead and complete this contract. And let's see, it looks like we're at the altitude for it, so we have to complete it by staging the engine. It does not need fuel in, in the tank, but I think it does need the tank. Uh, I'll have to double check on that. Of course, yeah, staging, because some items like the uh, landing gear we tested last episode, you just right-click and say run test, but this we staged. So even though, like I'm pointing out there, the uh, tank is empty, we still get uh, a successful completion of this mission. And I forget what I talk about for the rest of this, but I basically just go home, uh, land the craft, recover, or land the capsule, and recover the capsule and the Kerbal, and then on to the next mission. Be right back. Okay, I'm actually back with you here in the VAB because I just thought of something. Uh, because I turned this around, and it's going to uh, pop pop me off or pop off from my ship. I'm not sure if it would count as a successful uh, contract. Uh, so I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around, but before I do that, I'm going to put another small decoupler here first, put that on top of it, so that it can decouple this piece, but for coming home I can get rid of it, whoops, I can get rid of it, this needs to be upside down. I can get rid of it for landing. So, uh, I'm not, again, this is one of those things. I'm not positive that this uh, is the way the rules work, but I'm not going to take any chances. So, that's the new design. I just did that. One of the things is we had trouble getting the orbit with the last ship, and this is, uh, it's not too heavy, but it's pretty big. We don't have to worry because this is a suborbital flight, so we just have to get up to 79,000 meters, uh, and then we're good. So we can just boost our way up to NAPWAPs of 82,000, perform the test, come home, and we're good. So, all right, let's get a new crew member. Let's do NTOP and launch. All right, SAS on, throttle the full, and top's ready. Okay, I will see you guys when we're about to run the test. Three, two, one, liftoff.
Okay, we are in space and we are on our way up. Let's take a look at our conditions. Decoupler 79,000. So as soon as we hit 79,300, we can test this. We do have to get the right one next though. We need that one staged next. Oh, uh, yes, that is the one. Oh, and we're on the way up, so it's stage. Oh, I staged uh, that one. I saw this highlight, but it actually was highlighting the whole thing. This... Now that's that. No, that is the right one. We just have to get it on the way down, I guess. Not sure why it didn't stage when it was supposed to. Let me s yeah, everything's still attached. So 8200. As soon as we get below that, we'll stage again. There we go. That's weird. It didn't... Yeah, that was just weird. Okay, so now we can get rid of all this extraneous stuff. This one is that. We don't need any of... What is going on? Yeah, that's my other ship. So... It should be staging that to get rid of... Well, let's just do it manually. For some reason my staging is not working. And we're falling back to Earth, so... Or Kerbin. So we don't need any engines anywhere. But yeah, that has me puzzled why... A coupler on the coupler, it may have messed it up, confused it. Okay, that activated the engine. That decouples my capsule. Alright, I'll see you for the next launch. We have completed another mission, or a contract. And we're up to 490,000 funds and 97 science. So you thought, see you on the launch pad. Okay, before we get out to the launch pad, I want to demonstrate what I was talking about before, the kind of the minor exploit. Uh, because we finished uh, testing the big decoupler, is now a locked part. We don't have it available here, but it is still part of this ship, which we can load in. And there it is. So we can use this ship. So like I said, it's a bit of an exploit. But there's not much uh, we can do with it except do this mission. So let's go ahead and get uh, Let's think we're okay with everything. So let's double check staging. Yeah, then we test that. Like I said, I'm trying it with zero thrust, so we'll see if that will actually allow us to do it. Let's get our new crew member in the driver's seat. Move down to Dory Kerman. Oh, I am unable to launch. Okay. Well, I think we can fix that. 
So that, okay, that is something they, uh, I wonder if they fixed that in the point two update, which I am playing with right now. My first two episodes were in point two four point zero, and now I'm in point two four point two. But the previous missions got us enough science where we should be able to unlock that part. That is in here, I believe. Yes, it is. And we'll get us some other nice little pieces as well. Some adapters, structural fuselage, kind of the small thin tank, or, or it's the big tank, but it's the smallest of those. And then another decoupler. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, Hmm. The thing is, I really need these solar panels for the moon mission. So we're going to go ahead and put that mission on hold and go for the moon. So let's close that. Open this up. Let's take a look at the missions available to us. We're gonna take we're gonna go to the moon. We're gonna get 60 science out of that. Plus the science we get around the moon. Uh, and we need to move forward. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's accept that contract. Let's take a look at some of these others just in case there's some we can handle beforehand. We could do that land of the Kerbin. Well, it gets us quite a bit of science. Flight and flight and flight. Suborbital in flight. Escape and in flight. Not really worth it at the moment, but we can do the well it expires in a couple hours. I'm just thinking it's a really quick and cheap one to do. So let's do it. So this one is on hold. We're going to do a new one. Double O seven. Launch test two, I believe. Uh, I don't think I saved it for the other one, so. Let's put one of these on there, save it. And then we're testing this guy. So all we need to do is put well, let's put a taller tank out there. We just need one. Uh, we'll we'll do two to about keep it balanced, and then the smallest tank stuck on the side. We're not taking off, so we don't need parachutes. Uh, doesn't matter, but let's go ahead and give someone Edlu. You can do this test. Save, launch. We're on Kerbin, we're landed. By staging, that's the only stage on there. Three, two, one, boom. And we have completed the mission. 27 science, 441 funds. Cover vessel. Get most of those funds back. Now, here's something to keep in mind. Anything that's landed on Kerbin can be recovered and you can get funds back. So 
So if we go to the uh, tracking station, pick out debris, and you can go along anywhere on the planet here. Pick up this debris, recover, and let's see, I don't think we can see our funds here, but if we fly it, and recover it. I believe we got... Uh, I should have checked the numbers before we did that, but I believe we do get the funds back for it, so something to keep in mind. Anyway, that was a quickie there. Let's go to the science R&D laboratory. Uh, we want these solar panels and lights. An extra battery is always nice. It's a really small one, I think, though. Yeah. All right, let's pick that up. Okay, so active we have Explore the Moon, plus we have this one holding, but that we can do within 342 days. We already have the ship that can do it. So we'll get 43,000 easily. All right, so Explore the Moon is our next big mission. And that's what we're leading this episode up to. So let's design the ship. I don't know if we'll fly it this episode or not, but let's uh, take a really hard look at the design. But I see our funds are going up very nicely. A nice steady advancement there. But doing that a little quickie, eh, well, it never hurts. Alright, so new ship. 008 Moon Mission 1. Alright, save that. Okay, for the mission, we need to get science from achieve orbit around the moon, recover science from in space, land on the moon, and recover science from there. So, we essentially want to land. So, we need a lander. We also need to bring that lander back, so we'll... I'm going to go with a pretty standard design I've been using. So we need this to get home. Now on the moon, this needs to land with... We want to get a lot, as much science as possible, so we need a science junior here. We need some extra fuel. We need a broad base. Uh, I could put legs here in an engine and this would land and, you know, most people could, or most veterans could accomplish that. But if you're kind of uncomfortable about landing, make a broad base, and this is how you do it. Structural, let's get one of these out. Uh, let's do three times symmetry. Let's keep in front of the bay here, or the uh, entrance free, so you can fly up and grab this. Uh, do we have ladders yet? Utility? No, we do not. So we'll have to actually grab that piece of ladder. Not too big of a problem. Alright, so next step is more fuel. So three more on the end of these. And now we need this little LV-909 on the bottom of those. We need do we have yes we do have landing struts 
wordy moment there. Okay, so let's put... One set there, and one set off-center on this side. So we have six legs total. That'll give us plenty of shock, shock absorbing power, plus, like I said, a nice broad base so we won't tip over. Now we need extra things. We need goo pods. take two goo pods with us. Remember these kind of swip around, swap around if, you, if I touch the three-way symmetry see how it goes back to three. So I want two and I would come over top and put two, two goo pods there. I do not have a thermometer yet that's fine. So that's for our science on the moon. We need solar panels let's put three on that side and three on that side make sure we as long as we're on the sun side of the moon we'll be fine we need extra batteries so let's put three of these on here that's an extra 300 charge plus what the capsule holds. That should be plenty. Have to be really careful not to overbuild, in these, especially in these early stages. Uh, okay, so solar power, science, fuel. Uh, we actually need a little more fuel. This design. So we don't have fuel lines. That is an issue because this tank will not feed these engines. Now let's go ahead and put another one here and we'll keep that as a separate stage. So when we're taking off, we might just use this engine. But for landing, always need extra fuel, so let's go ahead and do that. So we use these engines for landing and possibly just this engine for taking off. Alright, so that lands us on the moon and this will get us home. It's pretty easy to get home, back to Kerbin from the moon with just very little power. All right, next step, we need to get to the moon from orbit. So we need a decoupler. We need a pretty decent amount of fuel on this stage. We need a pretty good engine there. Let's do the T-45 gimbling for control. And now to get into orbit, we need, fortunately we have a pretty good array of materials now, so we can do this. Let's go ahead and put this in a skipper on this stage. So this will be our final push to orbit. This will get us to the moon and this will land us on the moon and get us home. I'm also thinking about science around moon. 
mass is pretty light, so I'm gonna stick two of these here. One for high moon science, and one for low near moon science. I'll explain that when we get up there. Uh, this is getting pretty long, so we'll need a lot of struts. But that should do. Okay, now this, like I said, this pushes us into the, into orbit. But we need to get into near orbit. And we're pushing a lot of weight here. So, let's do... Um, flying by the seat of my pants here. I did not have a design in mind beforehand. I'm just trying to kind of like talk you guys through all this. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put two of these tanks. Here with skipper engines beneath those. And then finally, we're going to use some boosters. These nice big fat booster or long boosters with a lot of burn. Okay, this should get into orbit fairly handily with a good push behind this. Now we need struts. So from here to here, let's do one at the bottom of these. From there to there, stability. Cross each of these tanks. And then finally, well, maybe not finally, but also from here to here. I think the rest of that will be stable enough. Alright, now to check our stages. We want all these burning up these four and these four boosters all burning at once. Uh, the boosters, what we'll do is we'll leave them at full throttle and then we'll throttle back these engines to get a good speed profile and I'll talk about that during launch. Okay, boosters will fly away first and then when those are done these will burn and then those will detach Uh, let's do one more set in here to this tank. Okay, so then these four detach. This engine burns there. And then that detaches. You can see a highlighting. And that engine fires. And then this engine, and then once we get into moon orbit, we may decouple that. What we have to do is one, we have, we'll get the science, take it out of these canisters, put it into the capsule, and then when we detach, these can just fly away. So we may have to adjust some of these stages in flight, depending on what happens. Okay, this is definitely a later stage. Let's move that above. So we'll stage that, then activate those three engines. We'll do it separately. Then activate that single engine if we need it. And then on our way home, decouple from the lander, then activate the parachute. All right, so I believe this will make a complete moon mission. Let's find out.
Jebediah, you are out. We ditched it. Edlu did the little test. Camfall, you are going to the moon. Alright, SAS on. Throttle about half is about right for now for a first uh, sample of it. Three, two, one.